I think the existence of uh, intangible cultural heritage in one society uh, means already uh, some contributions to uh, the uh, sustainable development of the society uh, because it has been uh, existing uh, uh, with some roles of uh, helping the society uh, to be integrated and also uh, solving some uh, conflict also uh, from uh, the heritages they have uh, learned or some values and norms of uh, harmonizing the societies. Uh, so already there are many kinds of uh, contributions to the sustainable development in terms of uh, social coherence and harmony uh, and also uh, some uh, social development and peace. Yeah. In my uh, ex experiences in Korea, uh, I I, I, I could say that uh, uh, since the end of Second World War, we have followed much that the uh, modernization uh, way uh, according to uh, the westernization model. But uh, um, in the time of democratization, uh, and, and young people and students have uh, brought many ideas and then models of uh, the stories of uh, uh, traditional uh, uh, heritages and uh, like mask dances and uh, dramas uh, from their ancestors which emphasize the human rights and then also uh, just uh, social justice uh, and, and, and in this way it has helped uh, them to develop uh, their societies uh, and change or transform their uh, uh, authoritative and uh, very conservative societies into a progressive one.